For the second time in less than a month, thieves target a St. Charles strip mall by trying to ram a vehicle into a store. The question this morning is, did the criminals mistakenly target the wrong business? Fox 2's Chris Renier live in St. Charles to explain. Chris. Ty, good morning to you. Margie, good morning to you as well. We are on the backside of the strip mall, not far from First Capital on South Duchenne here in St. Charles. Police clearing the scene earlier, but you can see the damage that was left behind. Authorities telling us a Hyundai Elantra was used to slam into two back doors of one of the businesses here. You can see one of the doors there that was really pushed in quite a distance by the force of the car. And take a look at some video from earlier before the sun came up. We can show you the vehicle that was used in this latest incident, a white Hyundai Elantra. Police getting the call here about 345 this morning. Authorities say an alarm sounded at a business called Metal Oak Casting and officers rushed to this location. The store's owner telling me earlier that his business makes figurines for games like Dungeons and Dragons. Nothing was taken from Metal Oak Casting. Police believe that the suspect or suspects might have broken into the wrong store. And that is because of what happened at the same strip mall here back on October the 7th. St. Charles police say in that case, a stolen Hyundai Elantra was used to try and drive through the front doors of Kevin's Guns. Kevin's Guns is very close to Metal Oak Casting, the business which was hit this morning. In that case last month, authorities say concrete barriers in front of Kevin's Guns prevented the vehicle from smashing into that business. We're told last month, two men got out of the stolen car, then got into a white Hyundai Elantra driven by another man, and they all took off. We know of no suspects in either of these cases. For now, live in St. Charles, Chris Bernier, Fox News.